Uh, welcome to our free Yom Kippur for some and beginning of Yom Kippur for others service at Sinai Zahavora 5784-2023. Now is the time for turning, but turning does not come easily. It takes an act of will for us to make a turn. It means breaking with old habits. It means losing faith. It means starting all over again. It means saying, I am sorry. It means recognizing that we have the ability to change. Let us begin. And can I ask someone to uh, unmute yourself and read, please? Today is Yom Kippur, a day on which we gather to consider our behavior we can change for the better. This is the day for Hezbon Hanafesh, taking an account of our souls, ourselves. We engage with the difficulty, but ne with the difficult but necessary work of transformation. Part of transformation is learning to live with change, and sometimes with loss. Yom Kippur is also a day of remembrance to honor those family members and friends whom we have lost. They connect with us, they connect us with our past memories and selves as we focus on how we wish to change and move forward. Observing and sharing these Jewish traditions together in community provides us with spiritual nourishment. Please join us in singing Hine Matov, how good and pleasant it is to sit together as one. Thank you. Hine matavu manahim, shevet amim gam yachad. Hine matavu manahim, shevet achim gam yachad. Hine matav, hine matav. Yananai, nananai, nai. Hine matav, hine matav. Yananai, nanai, nai, nai. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for people to dwell well together. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for people to dwell together in harmony, in harmony. Yananai, yananai, nai, in harmony, in harmony. Yananai, yananai, nai, nai. Hinem matavu manahim, shevet amim gam yachad. Hinem matavu manahim, Shevet amim gam yachad, in imatov, in nehematov. Yananai, nananai, nai, in imatov, in nehematov. Yananai, yanai, nai, nai. And um, please stand uh, in order to light the candles. And I would ask for somebody to read the English and somebody who knows Hebrew to read us the Hebrew, please. And the knowledgeable will be radiant, like the bright expanse of sky. And those who lead the many to righteousness will be like the stars forever and ever. Hiru. <laughs> Kezohar harakia, umat dekea harbim, kaho chavim leolam ed. Amen. Thank you. You can be seated. I, I just as I said, you can be seated. Uh, over to Joshua. Um, so please stay standing and um, take a moment to look at the people around you um, or picture them in your mind and imagine them filled with happiness and joy. Yeah, 
やいなないないないないやいなないないないないやいなないないないないないないないバフエタカハハメバレバフハカハハハメバレハメバレレヨラハメバレハメバレレヨラハメバレ Let light be sown for good people and gladness for the upright in heart. Let light be sown for good people and gladness for the upright in heart. Having some technical issues there. Ozaru alat sahadik, ule yisherei left him ha. Ozaru alat sahadik, ule yisherei left him ha. Ozaru alat sahadik. Ule Yisrael lehev simcha, Ozaru ala tzadik. Ule Yisrael lehev simcha, Olazu ala tzadik. Ule Yisrael lehev simcha, Ozaru ala tzadik. Ule Yisrael lehev simcha. At this moment, I'm going to ask everybody to get your most, your favorite, most inspiring book that you have at hand, and please stand with us as we、uh, commence into the Kol Nidre. All personal vows we make and pledges we may take that are made for love and for righteousness between this Yom Kippur and the next Yom Kippur, upon us let them be for good. We affirm and accept. May they all be permitted. May they all be valid and existing. Let all our vows be vows, and our boundaries be boundaries, and our oaths be oaths. And please, please stand, everybody, as able. Nidre Vesare Vaharame Veraconame Vecinuse Ushevo Dinada. Bana Uda Harimna Udia Sana Lema. Vaudsta Miom Kipurim Se Adiom Kipurim Miom Kipurim Se Adiom Kipurim Se 
Lord Yom Kippurim. Abba Lenu Letova. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Joshua. You may be seated. Let us pardon all humanity for the entire nation transgresses unintentionally. Let us forgive and be forgiven. Nislach lecho bene adam ki lechol ha'am bishkaga nislach venisalach. Can somebody read the English, please? Listen, Yisrael, great is our diversity, yet we stand as one. Let us work together to improve this world. Shema Yisrael, Adi Gevuneinu, Achanu Echa, Ulanu Meavot, Letakenet Haola. Could somebody else read the English, please? And let us love our fellow as ourselves with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our might. And let these words be always upon our hearts impressing them upon our children, reciting them when we stay at home and when we go out, when we lie down and when we get up, binding them as signs in our hand, serving as a symbol on our forehead, inscribing them on the doorpost of our homes and on our gates. Thank you. Would somebody who's comfortable with the Hebrew like to do this? Behavta la rea camoha, behold of ha, behold not shaha, behold me o deha, beha you had varim ha ele, Allah of ha tamid, vishinantam levanech elavanenu, Unida bear bam, beshiftaha bevatenu. Uchleptenu vaderech, ushach benu kumenu, ukshar tam leota yadenu, vehayu le tota fahod benenenu, uchtav tam amizazot batenu, ubisharenu. Thank you very much. We pause for some silent reflection.
Thank you, everyone. Would somebody else that hasn't spoken like to read the English on the left, please? Really forgiving, trusting, truly trusting, deeply delving, sincerely speaking. We have erred, cherished friends, please forgive us. Virtuously evaluating, compassionately consoling, unfailingly fulfilling, courageously correcting. We have erred, cherished friends, please forgive us. Thank you. Sorry about the typo there. Um, and I'm going to play this. Um, and if you if you would like, you could sing along if you're comfortable. Unmute, obviously. Mm -hmm. Son of man, why are you sleeping? Arise and call out in supplication. Pour out your words. Seek forgiveness from relatives and from friends. Wash and purify. Do not delay before days pass. Hurry to seek assistance before the day of atonement. <laughs> Please do join in, uh, muted if you would like. 
Thank you, Joshua. And again, another standing moment. Would somebody else that hasn't spoken yet please read the English? We have acted improperly, acted wickedly, been stubborn and been stiff-necked. We have caused harm, deceived, erred and fathered. <coughs> we have given bad advice, gone astray, misled and resisted learning. We have ridiculed, spoken unkindly, taken without permission, trespassed, tra transgressed and uttered untruths. Thank you, Hilary. Yeah, and yeah. One second. So, um, and we are going to ask uh, people to join in after every, uh, after every word. So when Joshua sings Ashamnu, everybody sing Ashamnu. And then after Bagadnu, Bagadnu. Um, and just follow Joshua's lead. Thank you. Yai nai nai ya na na nai 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 ya na na nai 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 Asham nu Asham nu Bag nu Bagat nu Gazal nu Gazal nu Dibar nu dofi Dibar nu dofi Yai nai nai Ya na 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 ya na 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 heve ve nu e vi nu ve hi sha nu ve hi sha nu da nu da nu amas nu amas nu Tafanu sheke, Tafanu sheke, Ya na na ya na 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 ya na 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 ya tsnura, ya tsnura, zahnu, zahnu, la tsnu, la tsnu. Marad nu, Marad nu, Niat nu, Niat nu, Sarad nu, Sarad nu, Avi nu, Avi nu, Pahash nu, Pashad nu. Saranu, Saranu, Inu Oref, 
Shinu Ore. Nai, 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 yana, nai, 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 yana, nai, 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 Rasha Nu. Rasha Nu. Ihat Nu. Ihat Nu. Yav Nu. Yav Nu. Tainu, Tainu, Yatnu, Yainanu, Yainanai, Thank you, everybody. And uh, as we uh, go through the next couple of prayers, I'd like uh, different people to um, to read what you see on the left. So um, over to somebody to read the English. For abandoning our values, for believing the worst of ourselves, for creating strife and destructiveness, for all these things, freely forgiving, forgive us, pardon us. Um, can't read the last one. Atone us. Atone us, yes. Ve agulam emune slihot sil hulanu me hulanu apulanu. For expecting failure, for greed, and for hating ourselves and others, for all these things, freely forgiving, forgive us, pardon us, atone us. <laughs> For ignorance, judging unfairly, for killing our dreams and hopes, and looking for love in unloving places and people, for all these things, freely forgiving, forgive us. Pardon us, atone us. Ve agulam emune haslihot sil hulanu me hulanu kapulanu. For mocking, for needless gossip, overt insincerity, prejudice, and for being too proud to ask for help. For all these things, freely forgiving, forgive us, pardon us, atone us. <laughs> For relinquishing responsibilities, for surrendering to inaction, for trusting blindly in tradition, but not in our own creativity and spirituality, and for being unfair, unkind, and unjust in our hearts. For all these things, freely forgiving, forgive us, pardon us, atone us. <laughs> For vengefulness that didn't remain fantasy, for viciousness and vindictiveness, 
wishing harm on others yet wanting others to always be good to us for all these things freely forgiving forgive us pardon us atone us de al kulam emune hasli khod sil khulanu me khulanu kapulanu for xenophobia, for yielding to cynicism, and for zealous Zionism that lacks justice or care and makes us blind to the needs of others. For all these things, freely forgiving, forgive us, pardon us, atone us. <laughs> So how us all pursue the coming year is in the balance on this day and our depths may be a hair's breadth away. So let us be compassionate to ourselves and others for all these things, freely forgiving, forgive us, pardon us, atone us. <laughs> Let us embrace our own needs and welcome our guilt. Let us use these feelings as a catalyst to make amends, so long as doing so doesn't inflict more pain. Let each one of us work to become the person we aspire to be. The work begins by doing what we can to offset the damage we have caused. After doing all we can by way of making amends and learning from our mistakes and misdeeds, let us make a solemn vow not to repeat the act. Let us, having done all of this, let it go. Let us put our time, our energy, and our effort into doing good, into making better choices, rather than dwelling on our shame over those we've made in the past. And we pause for a minute for silent meditation on that theme. Nase shalom baolam, Unase shalom aleinu, Vea call Israel, Vea call Yoshvetevel, Venoma, Noma, Amen. Nase shalom baolam, Unase shalom aleinu vea kol Israel vea kol yashvete vehel venoma noma amen. 
Thank you, Joshua. And we move into our Haftara uh, portion now. Let us bless the Torah of humanity, and we are grateful for the right to gather as a community and to rest on this day. Nevarech et Torah Tadam, umodima nachnu al ha zechud, lehita sef kekahal, ule nuach beyom ze. Na la mod, na la mod, frume mindel bat henia de shmuel. Please arise, please arise, frume mindel, daughter of henia and shmuel. Blessed is the reader who is blessed. We bless the reader who is blessed with knowledge on this day. Are you there? Uh, I'll read, okay. Is this, okay. is this the truly desirable fast? A day for people to humble themselves, bowing their heads like reeds and covering themselves in sackcloth and ashes? Is this what you consider pleasing and a worthy fast? No, the de desirable fast is this, to break the chains of wickedness, to untie the bonds of oppression, to set the oppressed free and to shatter every yoke of injustice. It's about sharing your bread with the hungry, bringing the homeless into your home, clothing the naked you encounter and never turning away from those in need. Then your light will pierce the darkness like the dawn, your healing will spring up swiftly and your righteousness will lead the way. If you remove the yoke of oppression, stop pointing fingers and refrain from speaking in malicious ways, if you extend your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then your light will shine even in the darkest hours, and your darkest moments will be as bright as noonday. You will flourish like a well-watered garden and be a constant source of refreshment, like an ever-flowing spring, adapted from Isaiah 58. Hold on, I'm going to find it. Yes. I'm going to try and enlarge this a little bit. Hold on. Okay. Yom <laughs> Allah hof k 
Kelagmon Rosho Visak ve fair yatsia Hala zetikrat som Hala zet som ev harehu Pateach hartu bod resha Pater agudot mota Vishalach retsutim chavshim Vechomota tenate ku Chalo faros lara ev lach mecha Baanim merudim Tavivait Kitire Arom Vichisito Umib Saracha Lo Titalam Az Yibaka Kashacha Orecha Verichatecha Mechara Tim Sach Im Tasir Mitochecha Mota Shelach Etzbar Vidar Beaven Vita Feig Lara Ev Nafshecha Venefesh Nana Tashbi Tasbiya Vizarach Bachoshech Orech Vaafelatecha Kitsaharaim Vehaita Kegan Rove Uchmotza Maim Asher Lo Asher Lo Yechazvu and could somebody read this for us, please? Maybe alternate with someone? Of course, the voice of a prophet is often a lonely one and Isaiah's plaintive cry has been largely ignored. To this day, we are, as a society, still insufficiently caring for the homeless and the hungry. The practice of fasting is also no longer universally observed. While many Jews still find meaning in this ritual, many others do not and no longer keep it. For humanistic, humanistic Jews... Jews. Go ahead. Question. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. For humanistic Jews, the question of whether or not to fast is a matter of choice, not commandment. Many see the practice of fasting as an archaic ritual that brings unnecessary discomfort. They also do not feel that it is necessary to voluntarily deprive themselves of food for one day in order to be more compassionate towards those who suffer hunger daily. For them, it is not our fasting that is required, but our feeding of others. It is not the humbling of ourselves that is needed, but the helping of those who find themselves humble. Others among us also affirm these lessons and continue to fast. Some believe that when we control our appetites on Yom Kippur, we remember that in other days, too, we can be masters, not slaves, of our desires. They do not regard fasting as a form of self-affliction, self -affliction, but as an annual opportunity to focus on reflection and atonement. For them, fasting enhances introspection and contemplation without the distractions of worldly indulgences. Others simply want to link themselves to tradition and family ties. They believe that fasting is a way to make a connection to their heritage. Each one of us will choose our own way and our own explanation. There are no right or wrong answers. There are only possibilities and choices. Whichever path we follow, let us be grateful for the freedom to ponder these decisions and the luxury of having ample food and drink that we can and may choose 
to forego. Thank you, everyone. So at this point, um, I would like to open up for a bit of discussion on this topic. Um, what is the desirable fast? So, um, we'll... yeah. So let's have uh, no more than 10 minutes on the subject. Uh, and I guess, uh, go ahead. What is the desirable fast? Your, your time. That was really your time. Um, I would, uh, I would um, like to just mention that um, it's always the case that if you um, have a disability or taking medication or anything like that, even if you were Orthodox Jewish, um, you would still be uh, exempt from fasting. And in fact, it's forbidden to fast in those cases. Um, so it's not just because we're humanistic that we're <laughs> that we're having this conversation. Um, and also, I, uh, there was a funny anecdote that somebody told me the other day. Um, it was Rabbi Temach that uh, we read his uh, teaching on fasting. And he told me that in his congregation, which is City Congregation in New York, um, so many people um, fast from sundown the night before, so today, until midday after the morning service the next day. And on one occasion, he mentioned that... Um, Orthodox people do not do that, or Reformed people do not do that. It's up until sunset. And uh, this person in his congregation was shocked. She just thought that that was the tradition from sunset to midday the next day. So it's always possible to make new traditions and as a community to come up with new ways of doing things. So I thought I would just share that. Um, okay, uh, let's continue. Could somebody read uh, the English and then somebody who's comfortable read the Hebrew? Blessed is the light in humanity and blessed is the choice to speak words of truth. Blessed is the understanding drawn from Torah Adam, the Torah of humanity from our people Israel from all the peoples of the earth and from all prophets of truth and righteousness. Baruch ha'or ba'adam uvaruch ha'bhira ledaber divrei emet. Brucha hatafuna anim shefet mitorat ha'adam me'emenu Yisrael. Umikol ame ha'aret, umikol navie emet utsadaka. Amen. Amen. And we're now going to have a five-minute break because we are discussing heavy topics, and uh, I feel that it's necessary for us uh, to allow a five-minute period where we can just relax. If everyone is in agreement, uh, that will commence. Are we ready to continue? Anybody need a minute? Aaron let the cat out the bag. Did you let the cat out or do you let the cat out the bag? Looks like we're not all completely back yet. Back door, not out of the bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know. <laughs> okay. Uh, great. Okay, so at this point, we're moving on to our NIS core service. So um, maybe if you have your memorial candle, however you want that to look like, um, now would be the time to just make sure it's ready and you have your lighter or matches available. Give you a few few seconds to do that.
Okay, can I have a couple of people, maybe three people alternating, please? We take this time to remember our loved ones who shared their wisdom with us by word and by example. We remember them as their words echo in our ears. We remember them as we picture them in our minds. I, we remember them each time we notice them in ourselves saying what they would say, gesturing in the way they would gesture. We remember their tears and their laughter. We remember their hope and their despair. We remember their anger and their praise. We remember their achievements and their failures. We remember their frowns and their smiles. We remember their frustrations and their successes. We remember their jokes and their stories. We remember their disappointments and their triumphs. We remember the things they did and the things they left undone. Most of all, we remember their words and touch and all the silent, unspoken ways they affected us. And we give thanks for their presence in our lives. We have lived in numberless towns and villages, and in too many of them, we endured cruel suffering. Some we have forgotten. Others are sealed into our memory, a wound that does not heal. A hundred generations of victims and martyrs fill their blood cries out from the earth. And so many, so many at Dachau, at Buchenwald, at Auschwitz, at Babi Yar, and countless others. What can we say? What can we do? How bear the unbearable or accept what life has brought to our people? All who are born must die. But how shall we compare the slow passage of our time with the callous slaughter of the innocent cut off before their time? Let our own painful memories move us to ease the suffering in our lives of others, suffering in lives of others, especially all those deemed different by race, origin or belief. As the Torah teaches, let us love the stranger as we were strangers in Egypt. And please stand. And can we say together, please? Let there be a good remembrance and mercy and compassion and love from all the world upon the names of all the victims of the Holocaust who were murdered, slaughtered, burnt and exterminated by the Nazi assassins and their helpers. Let us make a place in our hearts to remember their good names and let us honour them with good deeds. And as their memory becomes a, for us a blessing, let us say together, never again. Amen. And um, I would like us all um, to alternate with these names. Uh, so um, please be uh, unmute and be free to um, just alternate the names. So today as a community, we remember our loved ones making a place in our hearts for each of their names. Please unmute and read the names, alternate between different people. Linton B. Lillibridge, father of Lara Lillibridge. Maria de Lourdes Ramirez, mother-in-law of uh, Tiago Felipe Soares. Karen Chanel Wiggins Hawkins, niece of Phyllis M. Wiggins. Julia Freire de Lima, mother of Arlette, Arlette Freire de Lima, de Lima and grandmother of uh, Alain Freire de Lima. Rex Friend, mentor of James Branham. Bill Patterson, grandfather of Ashley Patterson. Peter Silberstein, grandfather of Joshua Silberstein. June Rubin Reiner Asher, mother of Cheryl Blake.
Irene Watt, Watt, mother of Susan Watt. Molly Riddler, grandmother of Martin DiMaggio. Bernard Reiner, father of Cheryl Blake. Linda Andre, friend of Judith Shalit. Sadie Mast, honorary grandmother of James Branham. Eve Glickman, aunt of Susan Watt. Thank you, everybody. Take a moment to look at them. These are the pictures of some of those people. In the rising of the sun and in its going down, everybody together, we remember them. <clears throat> in, in the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we remember them. In the opening of the bud and in the rebirth of spring, we remember, we remember them. In the blueness of the sky and in the warmth of summer, we, we remember, remember them. In the rustling of leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember, we remember them. them. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember, we remember them. them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we, we remember, remember them. them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we, we remember them. When we have joys we yearn to share, we, we remember, remember, them. remember them. So long as we live, they too shall live, for they are now part of us as we Remember them. And we will now light a candle in memory of our loved ones. So take a time to reflect on the person whose memory you wish to honor. And I'll give you a second to do that. Let us say together, this candle I light in your memory, but I already know that a thousand candles don't have the fire of one of your words, and a thousand candles don't have the light of your eye. May this candle give light for your sake, and that you forever give light within me. May it be so. Could somebody read the English, please? May there be a good remembrance and compassion and kindness and love from all the world upon our honorable loved ones who are no longer present. Let us make a place in our hearts to remember their good names, a good memory, and let us honor them with good deeds. May their memory, May their memory be a blessing, be a blessing forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Yeheina zichrontov se chesed berachamim de ahava michol haulam lichvot ahuveinu she enam od. Avan in sor belebeinu et shemotehem hatovim bezichram hatov benokiram bemasim tovim. Zichronam livracha neolam bael. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. As this service comes to a close, we take stop one final time. We measure our lives. We stand in self-judgment. We set our sights on the journey ahead. Then, pledging ourselves to a life of commitment, purpose, and meaning, we shall write ourselves into the book of life. It is how we live our lives that determines how the book of our life will be written. This challenge does not end when this day is over. Rather, it goes on every day of our lives. Repentance and repairing our wrongs is a lifelong endeavor, not reduced to an hour or two, a few days a year. Now let the shout of the shofar go forth, and may it herald our journey as we go forth into the new year. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, everybody.